Hey guys, welcome to Tech Vitals. Today we are going to learn about property decorator in Python class. In the previous lesson, we learned about class method decorator, which is used to define the class method, and we also learned about static method decorator, which is used to define static method. So today we are going to learn about one more decorator that we can use in Python class, and that is property decorator so let's see the example so here we have this class employee which takes two instance variables first name and last name and which has one class variable which is company whose value is YouTube so let's create an object for this employee class so let's say employee 1 equals employee and let's give the first name and last name so let's say Tom and Cruz. Okay, so Tom Cruise. Now this employee one object is the object of this employee class which can access these two attributes first name and last name and it can also access these three methods the email method, change company method and static method. We don't really need these two methods for today's lesson so we can just get rid of these two methods so now we have just one method email which returns the email address for the employee so now this employee one object has access to first name last name and email method so we can print employee one dot first name we can print employee one dot last name and we can call this email method from this employee one object and we can run this so employee one dot first name is Tom employee one dot last name is Cruz and from this email method it's returning first name dot last name at the rate company dot com so we have Tom dot Cruz at YouTube dot com now as we know this first name and last name are the instance variables and this company is class variable so we can also access this company variable from uh, employee one object so all the variables that the object can access are also called the attributes of that object so employee one has three attributes first name last name and company and this email is not an attribute because it is a method which is defined inside employee class so employee one has access to email method and it has access to these three attributes and since this email is not an attribute it is a method that's why we have added this parenthesis after email if we remove this parenthesis and just say employee one dot email just like other attributes and let's try to print this now first name last name and company we are getting the correct values but for this email we are getting this object information which we don't really need we actually want to get the email address of that employee but without using the parenthesis we are not getting the email address and if we use the parenthesis then only we can get the email address like this but using the property decorator we can access this email method as an attribute or as an property so we just have to add the property decorator on top of this method so we can say at the rate property now this property decorator will define this method as the attribute or the property so now even if we remove this parenthesis from this method name since we have defined this method as a property we will get the same value that this email method is returning so now if we run this it returned tom.cruise at youtube.com even if we have not used that parenthesis so that is the use of property decorator 
it will just convert the method into the property or into the attribute. So if you want to create one more method and use it as a property, then we can do, let's say, company address and let's return uh, the company address value. So let's say California. Now to use this company address method as a property, we have to define property decorator on top of it. So we will say property and now we can access this company address without parenthesis and now we can just run it and it will return California which is the company address so this was a very quick tutorial on property decorator we will learn more about class and objects in the next video so that's gonna do it for this video I'll see you soon with the next video till then keep learning goodbye